Hey everyone, thought we'd do a quick update on Hurricane Florence out in the old Atlantic Ocean. This is called a flash forecast update, and these are very rapid paced uh, forecasts. We're just going to get right to the point here. So, Hurricane Florence, and we're going to talk about the biggest threat. But first, we're going to look at uh, the analysis here. Hurricane Florence has uh, dramatically weakened over the past uh, 24 hours or so. There's really, it's hard to even see the eye wall here on the visible satellite now. And it's uh, really starting to lose its form uh, more than expected. It's kind of ovular. Here's a water vapor view. It's gotten larger for sure. I mean, you can see those spiral bands uh, going way out there. It's become larger, but there there tends to be some, uh, some symmetry issues with this and the eye wall does not look very impressive. Here's the infrared, just not nearly as impressive as it did last night. And the reason uh, this is happening is uh, we kind of ran into some more wind shear than <clears throat> wind shear than expected. Wind shear is not good for hurricanes; it tilts them. It you know it, it kind of screws up the the flow of them, and <clears throat> and it screws up the the warm air transport, uh, and that's what hurricanes need for uh, their energy here. And so it's downgraded to a trop or a, to a uh, category two now, and I think that'll continue to fall as it gets towards the coast. Here's a little image that shows different hurricane uh, kind of anatomies. The ones on the left are typically weaker hurricanes, and the ones on the right are typically, you know, they look like a stronger hurricane. <clears throat> hurricane Florence looked like something on the right about a day or two ago. Now it's starting to look at look like uh, some of the hurricanes on the left. So uh, how does this uh, compare to Irma last year when Irma was about a Category 5? You can see that this is not nearly as impressive as it did yesterday. Yesterday there wasn't a huge difference. There definitely was a difference, but today there's uh, definitely a huge difference. The eye wall is pretty, you know, not so good, and it's very lopsided and ovular. So let's go right into the forecast here. <clears throat> so what the NHC has, arrival time probably going to be Friday morning, uh, maybe Friday afternoon, uh, you know, on the coast of North Carolina. Maybe it kind of dips south a little bit for a while and hugs the coast and uh, goes into South Carolina. Now, my guess is this is going to be either a Category 1 hurricane when it hits landfall or even a tropical storm. Um, I'm going to be a little more aggressive. Uh, you know, that's just kind of my style with these things. And I, that's my guess. But again, National Hurricane Center is the, you know, the, your best source for, your official source for weather information. And so look, what we got here is this is the hurricane uh, force wind speed probabilities. And you can see probably, you know, 50 to 100 miles in, inland here, a 50% or greater chance for hurricane force winds. Again, I think that might drop in the next uh, outlook. Precipitation. This is going to be the big thing. And I, you know, I said this yesterday in yesterday's video. This is the biggest threat. It's not even the wind. It's going to be the precipitation. GFS has 24 inches, you know, one to two feet for really the east half of North Carolina with 24 inches very near the coast. And so I, I definitely think you're going to see at least a foot of rain for, for many areas uh, in the east side of North Carolina and even South Carolina. I think this is a little far north. And potentially up to two feet. We'll see if that happens. The uh, Hyd Hydrological Prediction Center, the HPC, is actually forecasting about 15 to 20 inches uh, in the area along the coast. And really all of North Carolina and South Carolina are seeing at least three to six inches. Look at the European computer models track. Okay, this was a few hours back and, and now it's going to go for a couple days here through Monday. And this, uh, this hurricane does stall out a little bit and kind of dip to the uh, southwest. It hugs the coast. <clears throat> the European has done pretty well, but I think this is going to be a little bit weaker than what it's showing here uh, with wind speeds for sure. I mean, this is at 850, so that's off the ground as it is, but I think it's going to be a little bit weaker. But uh, landfall is going to be very close to the South Carolina-North Carolina border. Now, what's causing this hugging, uh, you know, effect 
along the coast and you know what's causing this thing to wobble around well we got two areas of uh, high pressure to the east and the west the west high pressure starts to build and the east high pressure kind of breaks down a little bit and that kind of helps it push the hurricane uh, to the west okay, they're kind of attracting each other and there's no hur uh, there's no jet stream the jet stream is way up to the north so there's really not any jet stream for this uh hurricane to get sucked into and moved off to the north and east like we typically see so that's going to increase the threat for rain so we'll uh, look at the hmon model i think the winds are a little overdone here Sh shows about you know 90 miles an hour as it hits coast maybe 80 miles an hour hits the coast and uh dramatically weakens after that and i think this is a little bit farther north than what it'll actually be i think it'll be a little bit further south but uh, again, I'm going to go for tropical storm or category one force winds. That's just my prediction with how the trends have been going. Now, one thing uh, before we get onto that is that it's east and north and maybe even south side of this hurricane. That's something you're going to want to watch. Look how it hugs the coast here. It kind of stays around the coast. The moisture source is not very far away from the low pressure center, and this thing's going to continue to draw in moisture on that east side and north side, and that's going to draw in plenty of moisture for uh, prolonged periods of rain and even maybe even some isolated tornadoes. Those usually occur on the east and northern side of the hurricane, that east quadrant. So, and if you look at the east side, this is going to really affect much of North Carolina and uh, well, maybe even South Carolina. I think, again, this will be a little bit further south, but the HPC has a, probably a pretty good handle on this. So with all that being said, that is uh, the quick update for tonight. If you want to donate, there's actually a place I found called Storm Assist. You can go to that website right there, you know, if you're, if you're interested in helping out the victims or even if you're going to... If you have footage you can donate, uh, that's a pretty good source there. And if you like videos like this, forecasting videos, forecasting tutorials, and uh, storm chasing videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button, either on here or below the video, that red box. Click subscribe, we'll be releasing more on, um, you know, a few times each week. And uh, be sure to check out my winter forecast. I actually made a winter forecast for this one upcoming winter, and that's gonna be posted on the right here. So. With all that said, hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. Hopefully you found it helpful and we'll see you soon.